Welcome to CartridgeTutor.com. My name is Hendo, and in this video, we're going to look at mag rollers. The two most popular mag rollers you're going to find in an HP cartridge are the large mag roller, like this one, which is found in the HP 4000 style cartridges, and a smaller one, like this one, a small diameter mag roller, which is found in the 15A, the 15X, the 12A style cartridges. Basically, when you remove a mag roller and you plan on reusing it, you want to vacuum off the excess toner or blow it off into a toner dump station. And after you've completed that, you want to take a cotton ball with alcohol and clean down the ends of any excess toner. You want to be careful not to damage or scrape the dark portion of the mag roller. You want to clean down the spring area too, which is at this end. After you've done that, you want to take a cotton ball with distilled water and just gently wipe the excess toner off the mag roller and any grease that may have been may be on it. While you rotate it, then you take a dry cotton ball and wipe off the excess water. Then you want to visually inspect the mag roller. You want to make sure there's no rings going around it deep grooves or rings or any scrapes or, or lines going uh, sideways on the, the mag roller itself on the body in this black area. So if it's not damaged you can reuse it. Um, in general it shouldn't cause you any problems. In general if it's in good condition this would be very dark this area here and it would be basically flawless any flaws you see in it, you're taking a risk reusing it. Now if you have to replace the mag roller in this type of mag, in this type of, uh, mag roller, you'll have to remove the contact and the magnet located inside. To do that, you can do it without tools. There are some tools out there that can be used to uh, do that for you, but if you don't have the tools, you can basically use a small Allen key or a small drill that can fit in the hole at the bottom of the mag roller in this particular mag roller and all you would do is put that in the bottom and then since you're going to be throwing this mag roller away to begin with you can grab onto the body of it and push down or tap down a few times to push the magnet and the contact channel out. As you see there, and just remove your metal piece there. Now some mag rollers such as this one for the 15A and 15X, 13A and 13X, and the Canon S25, sorry S35 and X25 have a part on the bottom of the magnet, this little plastic piece. You want to make sure you install that if it didn't come out. You would just tap the mag roller itself to dislodge this piece. And then it's keyed on the end there as you see. You just want to install it back on and that's how you install it back on so then you would get a new mag roller and before you did that you would actually wipe down the mag the magnet itself with some water and a cotton ball just to make sure the magnet itself was clean then you would install it in the mag, the new mag sleeve. You would install this end first, and 
make sure that part for the 15A, 13A style cartridges, that plastic part that was on the end of the magnet, make sure it is on the end of the magnet properly, and then it's all the way down. Then you would take the mag journal or contact and install it in place. Then you would use a socket. This happens to be a 3 8 socket with an open bottom and of course the socket portion there, 3 8 Put it over top like that and then just hold on to it like this and you would stand it straight up and push the contact into place. It's very easy actually. You may want to try removing the magnet and the contact and the journal here a couple times and then reinstalling it a couple times to get used to it and basically this will be ready to be installed into a cartridge you'd want to make sure that the spring area here is nice and level you can basically straighten it out with your fingers or with a flat blade screwdriver then you'd want to take conductive grease before you installed it back on the cartridge and coat the spring. Now we'll take a look at the larger mag roller, the 4000. Basically you would clean it the same way if you're planning on reusing it. Blow off the excess toner then wipe down the mag roller itself on the ends with a cotton ball and alcohol. Then you would wipe the entire mag roller down with a cotton ball and distilled water and then dry it with a dry cotton ball and if you determined that you were going to reuse it then you would just reuse it if you found marks on it or lines then you would have to replace it to replace this particular type of um, mag sleeve or the mag sleeve for this particular type of mag roller the magnet you'll notice sticks out the bottom of the cartridge so you don't need any type of pin or anything to push that magnet in. You would just basically push this using the table to push this journal out. So we're going to do that now. Since you're not going to use the mag sleeve, you don't have to be careful with it. And you just push very gently because it slides out very easily. You could almost take it out with your hand. Just remove it. Remove this portion here, which is the magnet. There is nothing inside there or anything you have to attach. You just have to recognize the long end. This end being the longer end. This end goes in first. That actually sticks out the bottom of the mag sleeve. So look at the mag sleeve. This end would stick out this bottom and this end would go in first. So that it would stick out the bottom. This end wouldn't and this end's on the top. That's actually sticking out of the journal end or the contact end. You basically clean this down with some with a facial swab and water. Make sure it's dry. Then you would simply reinstall it. Long end first. Of course it sticks out the bottom. And this would be of course a new mag sleeve. You would put the journal back on and in general the journal just slides back into place by hand. If it didn't or you had a problem you could use a socket again. This is a 7th 16th socket and you put it over top and then basically you can't put the magnet in on the table because of course it'll push the contact back out so you'd have to hold it in the air off the table so this part wasn't touching the table and just push down on the socket and it would line it up correctly. So I pushed down the socket to push the contact in correctly. Then basically you want to make sure the spring is level. And then you would take conductive grease and put it on the spring. And that's basically how you would replace the mag sleeve 
on one of these larger mag rollers. You may want to try that a few times as well just so you can get the hang of it. You would just basically use an old sleeve or a sleeve you're not planning on reusing and you would use your sockets um, to uh, and your pin tool that you're using to push the magnet and the contact off the magnet of the mag sleeve. You would just do that a few times with an old sleeve till you get used to it. It's pretty straightforward. It takes a three or four times of doing it to um, get the hang of it. Thank you for watching CartridgeTutor.com. My name is Hendo. Have a wonderful day.